Well, bus lanes are designed to make public transport faster, aren't they? But are they inadvertently putting lives in danger? Bus drivers around Sydney fear for passenger safety because vehicles are skidding on slippery painted bus lanes. The union says nothing has been done to address the serious safety concern about slippery painted bus lanes in Western Sydney. There are up to 2,000 buses in Sydney, each weighing roughly 13 tonnes, and surely they're the last thing you want sliding around on roads. I wasn't even aware of this. Nick McIntosh from the New South Wales Transport Workers Union is, and he's on the line. Nick, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Carl. How serious a problem is it? Well, it's a tragedy waiting to happen, Carl. I mean, we're talking about bus drivers who are having to transport anywhere between five-year-old school children and 85-year-old parents and grandparents of, of ours around Western Sydney, and they're telling us that uh, they've reported for months that on these bus lanes, whenever it's wet, they're losing complete traction even at low speeds and they're finding it impossible to make turns. I mean, this is a tragedy waiting to happen, not only for passengers on the bus, but for all road users and pedestrians. What, is the, what are the drivers saying about the surface? How often does this happen? Obviously, when it's raining, but how often does it happen? Well, when, it, when, it's, uh, when it's raining and, and just afterwards, they're saying that it's not happening everywhere, but there's a couple of trouble spots that they're reporting that, that they're always losing some form of traction. It's just a matter of how much traction they're losing. Mm. And, uh, and as we said, it's a, it's a tragedy waiting to happen if, uh, if we can't fix this problem very, very soon. From re my recollection, that Parramatta Road and Broadway in inner Sydney, they had a, a similar problem, didn't they? Did they fix that? Very similar problem, uh, Carl, and I believe that uh, it, it has been fixed, and, and we're talking about public buses there, that, that uh, the RMS and Transport for New South Wales uh, stepped in to try and fix it. The problem we've had, Carl, is we've, we've reported um, uh, these, these problems for months that our members um, uh, have told us mm. about, and, uh, and we're yet to hear anything from Transport for New South Wales uh, or the RMS about this. Okay, so unions have been hearing complaints from drivers in Parramatta, Liverpool and the Hills mainly. Mm. Um, yet RMS says no further issues have been raised. Have you failed to tell the authorities? I can tell you that, that whenever we hear allegations like this made uh, by our members, the very first thing we do is speak to their employers and we speak to the government authorities, in this case RMS and Transport from New South Wales, uh, because obviously our, our members' best interests uh, need to be served. Mm. And, uh, and we just have not heard a thing back, Carl. What, what we're really calling on to happen here is the Minister to personally become involved, Minister, Minister for Transport, Andrew Constance, to, to personally become involved, work with unions, work with employers, work with our members to try and fix this. Because as I said, Carl, it's a tragedy waiting to happen and we don't want to be having this conversation in a month's time where something horrible happens. We want it to be fixed today. Surely there's, a, there's an easy solution here. Surely there's an easy solution. Well, you would think so, Carl. I mean, you and I shouldn't be having this conversation. This should have been fixed months ago. But, uh, but, but as I said, we haven't heard anything. And, and the only two government authorities that we can really get to assist are the RMS and Transport for New South Wales. And, uh, and, and we, just, we just haven't been able to, uh, to get anywhere with it so far. Maybe you just don't paint them. Well, look. There could be an option if, 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 if the paint uh, is, is the thing that's causing the problem and there's no other form of paint that, uh, that, that's going to uh, rectify the problem, then, then it may well be that we just can, can sign bus lanes around the place rather than paint. But I, I'm sure common sense can prevail. Yeah. It's a simple solution. We just need to be able to talk to the right people to fix it. Well, I would have thought bus drivers are the best people to talk to, but it's now David's email. Then he says, that bus lane in Smith Street, Parramatta, has caused us bus drivers massive grief for several years. Now, when it's wet, it's like being on an ice rink. It's a disaster waiting to happen, says David, as there is a major pedestrian crossing there that's just one of many out there that make the ABS systems on the bus useless. As usual, the authorities do not listen to us bus drivers. They wait until something happens. So how do we get the authorities to listen to bus drivers? And I'll bet you, I'll bet you, two to one on, a bus driver's got a very simple solution here. I, I, I wouldn't want to bet against you, Carl. I, uh, I, I, I totally agree with you, and, and I, I, if it was a David that made that comment. I, uh, that is, the, that is the, the bus and rail interchange there in Parramatta yeah. is actually the worst offender. We, we know that. That's where we get the most complaints. Uh, look, I can tell you that our bus drivers are very, very professional. They care so much about all their passengers. Of course. And, uh, and, and this is something they are screaming to us about to try and do something. And as I said, Carl, we need the minister, if we can't get anywhere with RMS or Transport for New South Wales, we need the minister to come in, come to the party, talk with our members, and, and I'll bet you, as I said, I wouldn't take your bet up because I agree with you, 
if he sits down with bus drivers, this problem will be fixed very, very Seriously, soon. how hard can it be? I'm mean, Surely that'll be a 10-minute meeting. Sit around together, have a coffee and go, what can we do about this paint? Stop it or provide an alternative and bang, bang, bang. It's enacted the next week and there's no dramas. Everyone moves on with their lives. Anyway, um, Nick, thank you very much for that, my friend. It's coming up to...